And Chris, we're talking about bone and the metal and the angles and all those things. Do you think there's other things that play a role in the instability in a patient like this as we're looking at the CT scan on this patient? Uh, like what role does the soft tissue play in this patient, right? Uh, as we're looking at this, not the deltoid, but just everything else. Yeah, I mean, we know from the multi-center group that subscap, uh, subscap integrity, I mean, if it's repaired or not, deeply changes recurrent infection rates. And, you know, when, when we're thinking about, or sorry, uh, dislocation rates, but when we're also thinking about other things to do for these patients. Like, you know, you, you taught me to use that Achilles soft tissue wrap around recurrent instability patients, which is like an awesome idea. And even use a suture cyclage, uh, which isn't necessarily soft tissue, but there are different things that you could do from a soft tissue perspective. And then also increasing the deltoid wrap if you can. Like if I have a patient that has recurrent instability, I'm trying to lateralize them as much as possible with the deltoid wrap. But for this patient, like what Evan said, I, I think one of the most critical things is as much as I hate to do it, I'm making this guy into a 155 stem because I feel like he's coming out at, at like inferior and up. And I think that the 155 stems with the eccentric glenosphere puts a lot of tension on the deltoid and keeps the, the uh, humerus underneath the glenosphere. I do a lot for like my patients that need to be arm dependent, like wheelchair dependent or crush dependent. And uh, I think I'd use the same principle for this guy.